morning, uh, Laura Gilbert was training the acolytes, and, and part of their training is they reflect on the gospel. And when they heard the James and John coming to Jesus and saying, Hey, Jesus, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. It was said by one, it reminds me of when I go to my parent and say, I'm about to tell you something, but don't get mad. <laughs> Have we ever done that? Have you ever heard it said to you? I also imagine James and John, after going to the front of the line and having this conversation, which they didn't really understand, but they thought they understood as they came back to the other ten. Loser! Peter, loser! It's amazing how the Gospel of Mark portrays these bumbling apostles. This is the third time that Jesus has said he's going to Jerusalem. He's going to be arrested and turned over to the authorities and crucified. The first time he talked about it, Peter immediately brought him aside, Jesus, don't talk that way. You're not going to die. And then Jesus said, rebuke me to Peter. That's not of God. Then they're walking along the road. Jesus is talking about dying again. And the apostles are jostling for position and saying, uh, talk about who's the greatest. They're just not getting it. And then today, Jesus is talking about it. And James and John come and say, when you come into your glory, we want to serve on your right and your left. The irony, of course, is who served on Jesus' right and left when he came into his glory, when he was crucified? the two criminals on the cross. And I still I'll say it many times, you'll hear me say it many times, that faith expressed by the criminal on the cross, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He says this to the man, as he's dying on the cross, to the man dying on the cross. What faith. It is no accident that I prostrated myself to the children here. It's an outward and visible image of what Jesus is saying. If you want to compete, compete to see who can serve more. If you want to compete, he's not saying there's anything wrong with competition. He's not saying there's anything wrong about, tr about trying to be the greatest, but he says if you want to be the greatest, come to him as a child. Now our church has taken many pieces of scripture literally or as a mantra for doing different things. It has never, hardly ever, taking this. The institutional church and churches have been more about control. Leadership from above. I, I think of Archbishop Romero who learned to serve. And he was baptized with the baptism that Jesus was baptized. He was martyred with that. What would it look like if all our different denominations were competing to see who could be servant of all? Who could be the best servant? It's a different kind of competition. Quite frankly, our competition has also led us to have many different denominations. The Protestant Reformation, we're going to do it right, we're going to do it better than the Western Roman Catholic Church. 
But it didn't start there. It started back when the Eastern Church broke away from the Western Church. We're going to get it right. And then there was that Coptic Church in Egypt that's been doing it right the whole time, according to them. I, I don't know if they say that, but I know that we as have been doing it right for a long time, and we are the best. But I'm not competitive. I mean, am I right? Do I get an amen or what? Amen. Amen. Well, we better serve. We better serve one another. We better serve other denominations. We better serve the poor. We better serve the ostracized. We better serve the left out. We better serve the invisibles. Who's not here? Who can't get here? I was having a conversation about the, I think it's the ILS students at school. Where do they get their spiritual nurture? My wife has bugged me for years about many things. <laughs> Where is the church in their lives? For people who can't speak, people who have to be brought in on a stretcher, people who have to be brought in many different ways. There are so many people not here. Let's compete. Let's be the church that serves. In the name of the Father, the Son, 